Now in this video I'm going to go through the GLL840E, the 8 line uh, red laser um, with the uh, 40 metre operating diameter. Um, I'm also going to compare this um, to the 2 line green laser, um, let you guys know um, the differences between the two, the red and the green, the different applications between the two line lasers and um, obviously the pros and cons for this model as well. So I'll let you guys know what I think. So here we have the GLL840E, it's an 8 way line laser, it will shoot a vertical axis on all four sides and it will also shoot a horizontal axis on all four sides to give you a complete 360 degree working area. Now when it's turned on, it will also shoot a, a pinpoint uh, dot directly underneath the machine, so you can set it up on a tripod, you can line that up with your datum point and then you can work 360 degrees from that mark. So it's perfect for, for setting out um, of job sites or of walls. You can get walls perfectly square by using this machine. Um, and also because it will do a horizontal axis, you can also get them ho uh, height adjustable as well. Now, this base has your standard tripod mount on it as well, um, but also it has your fine to, uh, tune function, so you can get your laser uh, close to where you want it um, to line it up, and then finally adjust it uh, to mark up with any datums or points you have. Um, it's also self-leveling, which most lasers are, um, but if it is um, on, a, on a slight incline um, or really rough terrain, then you can uh, obviously fine-tune and adjust the legs to suit accordingly. Now, this also has a lockout function, so not only is it great for both vertical and horizontal lines, but when um, you're on a job and you need to set something up on an angle, so uh, a staircase for instance or a handrail, you can press the top button and you can lock out the laser at whatever degree or angle you're after and you can follow that without having to worry about it. Now being motorised, um, unlike other lasers which run off a pendulum, um, as soon as you unlock the device, uh, a counterweight um, dictates its, its plumbing level axis, which over time can need calibration, especially if it gets bumped around. Um, this coming in its nice uh, sturdy box, but being motorised, you don't have to worry about that because it's constantly scanning to make sure it's near perfect um, calibration. Um, but another feature of being motorised is if you set it up and it's on uh, a timber floor or, or formwork, for instance, whether it's on its own base or on a tripod, if someone walks, around, walks past it or there's foot traffic, with other lasers, the laser can move around because of this pendulum action. But being motorised, it doesn't do that. So you can bump right next to it and the laser doesn't move. So you can be assured that you've got accuracy regardless of the amount of people that are working on site. It also has um, a button which changes the, the wavelength of the laser. So um, when it's turned off, the laser's at its brightest, so you, um, you can work to the laser to mark off the line it, itself, or you can turn it on and it will come with this receiver. So in this box, a nice sturdy aluminium padded box, um, it has some uh, red safety glasses as well as the booklet, and then it comes with this receiver in its own little pouch. Now this receiver has both audible and uh, visual signals um, for when it's in line um, and it also has a feature to adjust the width of, of the laser receiver so when you turn it on it automatically goes on its fine function um, but then if you're at a distance this uh, being uh, the 40 on the machine um, is for 40 meter radius from the machine so when it's at its uh, furthest operating point um, if you're finding it's hard to, to pick up the laser or you're constantly moving the receiver back and forth trying to find it, you can press this button, you can widen that spread um, so it's easy to pick up the laser and then you can fine tune from that if needed. So we'll turn it on. Um, this just runs off a 9 volt battery. It also has a, uh, a tripod mount as well. And it has LED uh, visuals on the back, the side and the front. So. When the button, when the, the wavelength button's not turned on, the, the receiver's not going to pick it up. So don't don't worry if you if you think it's broken. Just make sure that the button's pressed, and then as soon as it's pressed, it's going to pick up that that laser line. And as you can see, the lights and the beeps work accordingly with the laser. I'll just demonstrate the what the the different width. The light changes from green to red. So when it's in red, you know that it's on a wider function. So you can see there's a lot wider scope in which the laser can be picked up.
So that's pretty much it. It also has, it takes four AA batteries, but it will also take a, uh, a DC, uh, a six volt DC adapter, which is sold separately with the uh, machine as well. Um, so this is perfect for, for any builders or contractors that do really precision work, um, both on a horizontal and vertical plane. Um, makes it pretty much uh, suitable for all tasks, especially with a 40 metre working radius, it'll cover pretty much anything you're after. So here we have the two line lasers side by side. We have the red GLL840E, 8 being 8 line laser, 40 meeting 40 metre diameter from the laser. And then on the right we have the GCL250CG, uh, 2 being 2 way laser, 50 metre working diameter, um, C being Bluetooth connected and G meaning green. Now I'm going to go through both of these um, lasers individually and talk about their own individual functions and applications but I just thought I'd put them side by side so you can see the difference in the colour. A lot of people ask when buying lasers what's better, red or green and there isn't a straight answer to that. It all comes down to the application and what you're going to be using the laser for. Um, the I personally find that green is better outside, especially with the rotating lasers. Um, it's a lot easier to pick up the line um, in the sunlight. Um, and then obviously indoors, um, they're, they're much of a muchness as well. Um, I'll, put, I'll turn them both on so you can see. The green is a lot brighter. Now, as you can see, directly in front of the laser here, it starts to get a bit hazy, it loses its crispness, but once it gets to the edges, it really gets a nice sharp line. Whereas the red's sharp all the way through, and it's a consistent colour, it's just as bright in front of it as it is to the end, um, whereas the green is brightest right in the middle, and then patterns out either side. Now, um, this red laser is, is more designed for, for builders and principal contractors who are doing job setouts. So when you pair that with a receiver, um, you can do perfect 90 degree um, corners and then you can square off to do parallel walls as well. Whereas this is more designed for doing partitioning systems or suspended ceilings, especially when paired up with the remote control base um, and the remote in both Bluetooth um, function too, so you can have it set up, you can hang it off a, tri off a, off a wall bracket, set it on a tripod or have it on its own base um, and they're going to be useful as well. But I just thought I'd run through the difference in colour of the two. Um, unfortunately there isn't a straight answer, it, it can be quite subjective what people prefer um, and it really just comes down to testing it out in your own experience. Um, both, like I said, when you're using a receiver it really doesn't matter, it only comes down to when you're using it off the line itself. And if you're working away from the line, um, I personally find the green is easier to see outside, um, but I'll have no troubles picking up the red either, especially indoor work as well. So 